Keep in mind, this is the deadliest caliber in world history. Started World War I with the assassination of an Archduke. World War I led to World War II, led to the invention of the atomic bomb, led to the invention of the hydrogen bomb, led to the invention of the intercontinental ballistic missile. Meh. These didn't do too bad. All 12. No issues. Greetings, Discrete Defenders. Welcome back to Discrete Defense Ranch. Today, we have a fun little test set up featuring some heavy for caliber 380 cartridges, Remington Golden Saber Defense Compact Handgun. That is a 102 grain round. Looks like this. Classic Golden Saber look to that bullet. Very heavy for a 380 bullet. And the competition we have lined up for it is the Hydroshock Deep 99 grain personal defense round by Federal Premium. Here is that Federal Hydroshock Deep load. Again, 99 grains, pretty heavy for caliber. Both of these are brand new boxes. The test gun we're going to be shooting out of is my wife's Sig Sauer P238 with a 2.75 inch barrel. You can see it in cocked and locked configuration right here. I'll demonstrate that the gun is safe at this moment. Now for these two rounds, we are going to put them through a four layer 12 ounce denim test, homemade ballistic gel, and a chronograph test. Try to get the camera at an angle to where I will not accidentally shoot it while I'm trying to shoot the pro chrono. First up, 380 auto, 102 grain, Remington Golden Sabre Defense Compact Handgun from the nicely compact Sig Sauer P238. And I'm gonna get about seven feet away Eight eighty five, eight twenty one, eight seventy one, eight ninety, eight eighty three. All right, let's review that string. The high was eight ninety, the low was eight twenty one. The average was 870 feet per second. Very nice. Great performance out of a 2.75 inch barrel for the 102 grain Remington Golden Saber Defense Compact handgun. So that Remington claim of 815 feet per second out of a short barrel must be out of a truly short barrel because they are getting a lot more velocity than that. And for a 102 grain round, I mean, that's off the chain. Now we'll give those Federal Hydroshock Deep 99 grain 380 personal defense a chronograph test. Back to the same spot, seven feet away. 818. 811, 807, 835, and 825. Not bad. As long as they're all above 800 feet per second, they should, they should do all right if they're properly engineered. High of 835, low of 807. Average of 819 feet per second for those Federal Hydroshock 99 grain, uh, sorry, Federal Hydroshock Deep 99 grain 380 auto out of the 2.75 inch barrel. 
All right, let's move on to the gel test. See if these rounds perform as well in the gel as they do on the chronograph. And we're back with the gel test. We have the gel black backed up by a partially frozen jug of water, four layers of 12 ounce denim in front of the gel and a 19 inch gel column. First up, Golden Sabre compact handgun. Gonna shoot a bit to the right in the block with this one. Try to save room for four shots, two of each. Looks like we have a successful capture. Wow, definitely an expansion signature from that. We definitely stopped that round at about, uh, wow, 15 and a half inches into the gel. Whoa! Okay, we have another round in there of the Remington Golden Saber. So I'm gonna repeat that test. Just gonna shoot a little bit further to the, toward the center of the block here. Oh, got that one a little bit low. We did capture the round. It's uh, right down there at the bottom. Yeah, I think that, uh, I think that's an adequate second test. Total penetration on that's e easily 16 inches, just a little bit over 16 inches. But that one did not expand as well as completely barely expanded. That's uh, that's a pretty classic clogged hollow point signature for Golden Sabre. You've got that partial peeling back of the hollow point cavity. But otherwise, a pretty good round. I'll pull that other one out of there before we put the Federals in there. Yeah, this is a good, tough gel block. And then you can see, actually, the expansion on the other one was slightly exaggerated by the, the, the perspective I was looking at it from. That also is only partial expansion. You got three petals rolled back. But you see what happens when you get partial expansion. The bullets go deeper like a nine millimeter level of penetration. Partial successes, considering that they penetrate really well and they have a crazy amount of muzzle energy for 380. So Golden Sabre 102 grain defense compact handgun, that's eh, not the worst choice. In fact, if your gun will feed them reliably and I had a 380 that wouldn't, but if it will, you know, give them a shot. Now we've got plenty of room in this gel block, but I think I'm gonna flip it over and we'll shoot it with the Federal Hydroshock Deep. All right, 99 grain Federal Hydroshock Deep premium personal defense ammunition. Four layers of denim, six feet back, Homemade organic ballistic gel. That has not expanded. Has penetrated. Penetrated almost 18 inches. All right, I'm going to try the other one. We'll shoot a little bit lower. Shoot right over here. And that's gone, oh gosh, that's gone into the table. Oh, uh, I am not, I maybe should have practiced with my wife's little gun. We'll have to take out another one, warm it up for a moment. Cause I don't know why, but federal ammunition does seem unusually affected by cold for a company that operates out of Anoka, Minnesota, 
you wouldn't expect them to be bothered by cold air, but they seem like they are. All right. Okay, well, there you see. That's gone the full 19 inches. It's actually da damaged the water jug behind it. Neither one of those federals expanded at all. So there you see the federals. They have not even tried to expand. So that federal hydro shot deep, just easily defeated by four layers of denim. So in this test, Golden Saber definitely came out on top. It has more muzzle energy, it, and it has partial expansion through the four-layer denim test out of the little 2.75-inch barrel SIG P238-380. Thanks, folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have a great week. All 12. No issues.